Hello everyone in YouTube land, it's Tom here from TechNexus and how are you going today? Yesterday you would have seen me play around with uh, some of the, the roads in our model and today I just wanted to have a little bit of a look uh, again at how to go from InfraWorks to Civil 3D. The, the model that you see on, on screen is something that I used last week but I did add an extra roundabout on here so I've extended this road over and then I've put in a two-lane road across this way uh, I just wanted to demonstrate the the capability of InfraWorks going to Silver 3D with uh, with an intersection on one side and a roundabout uh, on the other so this is just a, an out-of-the-box LL84 model I'm, I haven't touched it, I haven't changed anything on here other than obviously uh, adding in the roads and, and the styles that I need here. So I'm just going to close this off. So for all of this to work you have to uh, close off your InfraWorks model and I've got Civil 3D loaded uh, here on the screen. On your ribbon click on the insert tab and then you'll see the InfraWorks button there and then we're just going to go open InfraWorks model and then I'm just going to look for my YouTube file, so my SQLite file. And I'm going to get an error here saying that it needs to, to have the coordinate system set. So I'm just going to say that we're going to use um, the one from the InfoWorks model. And I don't want to do the, uh, the whole extent of the model. It's just going to be too big. So then I'm going to click on Area of Interest and then click on Select Area. And what that is going to do, it's going to load up the online maps here. So you have to be signed in. And I'm going to put a window because I know my model is, is around here. So for the time being, I'm just going to say uh, from there to there, just for the rectangle. And I also do have options on what I want to bring. So if I click on Refine Selection Set, you can see I've, I've got some, some surfaces in there, the roads, so whether they are uh, numbered or whether with the names, my component roads, so they're all my new ones. Uh, I don't have any water areas from memory, but it is going to include them and that one roundabout obviously as well. So just for this exercise, for this video, I'm going to say yes to everything and I'm gonna open up all of them. And you can see it's bringing in 42 entities. Um, if you do the whole model, obviously you're going to start bringing in hundreds of entities. So you have to really sort of have a think about what you want to bring in and, and how much detail and how much information you want to bring in. So you can see there that it is modeling in the corridor and we do have the map there, but all you need to do to turn the map off, I'm just going to turn it off just because it's a, going to make it a little bit more lightweight, is click on the geolocation tab and then go to map off. And then you can see here that it has... Uh, brought these alignments in and we've got the corridors. So if I click on this corridor here, then it comes up in my tool palette that it is a corridor and the same thing for the one that's sort of going in the east-west direction as well. And we've also got, if I click on it, a roundabout. With the AEC collection, so you, you may or may not notice that inside the AEC collections is the vehicle tracking tab and you do get options to add roundabouts. So if you are bringing in a roundabout from InfraWorks, it is bringing it in as an actual roundabout. So you can see we've got um, all of the, the information there to, to modify and to adjust this roundabout if we need to. So you can kind of think of InfraWorks as your pen and paper sketching tool uh, for your your infrastructure project uh, and then we can bring it into Civil 3D and start playing around with the design in here. So that's all I'm going to cover today. I know it's short and sweet but it's just really just to demonstrate that you can uh, start your model in InfraWorks and then bring it into Civil and then ultimately we can round trip that back into InfraWorks if we need to and we can do different proposals based on different versions of, of possibly your, your Civil 3D design. So thanks for watching today. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of all of my videos and I will see you tomorrow for some more InfraWorks. See you later.